I am going to be talking about Storm's autism results. I wish I would have listened to some of those comments. I just thought people were being mean to me, to be honest. Here are some of the videos that are up on Patreon this month. There are also tons of other videos like this one from the past months that if you sign up, you can binge watch. I will leave that link down below. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. We are currently trying to move a massive couch into the cabin. Just Travis and I. I have a bad back, so it's like really not good for me to be lifting. We have no one to help us. It is freezing cold outside. It is pitch black. We're literally trying to like carry this massive couch in the pitch black outside from the car that's like kind of far away. And we're having to like go through like big rocks and like dirt and trees and branches that are coming out everywhere. <laughs> so anyway, one of our little ones had an accident. So we're cleaning that shitty situation up literally. And then we're gonna move a hatchet. Fun times. <laughs> That looks way better. This is more what I was thinking. Yeah, that looks great. I love it. Wow, beautiful couch. Beautiful, beautiful couch. I am so happy with this. I cannot believe we got this for 140 bucks. Amazing Facebook marketplace coming through. Is that what you were thinking? Yeah, this looks great. And then cool. I was thinking we could put like a little side table or something there. And then... Do you feel like this works with it or not? Um, I don't know until we get the mural on this wall. And then we can kind of like go from there. But this is like the main thing. I just, I think we're going to have to put some sort of big rug because this is all going to be wood floors, you know? But I, I really love the couch. I mean, for 140 Forty dollars, like that was a score. Don't you agree? <laughs> yeah, he loves it. Yay, baby storm! The next day, little Snow is behind that bush over there. I don't know if you can see her, and she's getting ready to snowboard down our mountain. Go Snow! Travis helping her, teaching her how to snowboard. It's so cute. Look at her go. What are you doing, little baby? Oh. You trying to see Sissy snowboard? So this is what it looks like after it's snowing. Oh. It is so beautiful. And you might see a little Dad. surprise coming over here shortly. Something's going to come out of the bushes that you might oh. not expect. Do you see it? Can you see it? What might it be? Oh, Travis Snow snowboarding on our property. That is so cool. Wow, look at him go. Hello and good morning. It's like day 14, 17. I've lost track. Lots of snow <laughs> that we weren't expecting. So it's just taking a little bit longer to do everything for the glamping camp because we have to shovel snow and use a tractor to move the snow around to be able to build the deck. So that's what we're doing now. So let's come see some of our progress. So, uh, what's this? Is that not ours? That's a basketball and it is yours. the sound of snow under your feet when you're walking on it fresh. <laughs> Did he scare you? Come on little storm. Come on little storm. This way buddy. What is it? Bunny tracks? Uh, well, 
Well, I don't know. It looks like... That looks like a bobcat. Look, bobcat. Those... Oh, no, that's Oakley. Oh, honey, yeah. you, I think you need to rub in your sunscreen a little bit more. Did you show my new designer Tiffany boots? Tiffany hey, came out with a boot line. They were only $875, but worth every penny. Worth every penny. Yeah, Absolutely. You want to work with me? He's joking. They were fifty dollars oh. from Walmart. Okay. <laughs> like a little storm near the tractor. The vans like, just don't cut it out here for construction work in the snow. Well, I'm wearing vans, and yeah. vans boots I got for twenty oh. bucks <laughs> at the thrift store, and they are really coming in handy out here because I didn't have any what snow boots. Actually, I don't have any boots. What's up with her sunscreen, babe? Honey, she wouldn't let me do it. We had some child labor going on over here. Here, sweetie, let me fix your. Watch out for Oakley, don't hit him. I'm putting up all of the uh, like security cameras all over the cabin, so that's what I'm doing now. One down, a lot more to go. Is that lined up? Yeah, that's lined up. So this thing should... Oh, it's like that. Meanwhile, Storm is taking a nap while we're all working outside. I need to clean this motorhome, it's so gross. <sighs> Mainly, we just like throw everything up there and I haven't had a chance to like clean all that up and organize it because we still need to get stuff out of storage. And I have a 40 foot shipping container that is getting delivered next week to be able to get all of my stuff out of storage and to bring here and put in that shipping container so we don't have to pay for storage anymore. And also to be able to use whatever we have in the meantime to save um, on costs for the Airbnb. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. Whew, it's chilly. We got our security system, all our cameras set up, good to go. Safety is our number one priority, then cleanliness. All right, little check-in update. We have finally figured out a way to pull the roof storm, the um, deck with the tractor. So look at this, Woohoo! looking good. That's the deck, there's Oakley. This little stormy, come on storm. Hey bubs, hi. Hi! Slowly but surely getting that deck over. So what I'll do is I'll raise this side up and we'll put these two in first. Oh, it's a bit. What follows is a brief construction montage. Oh my gosh, it is so, so freezing cold right now. And the weather is supposed to get bad again. And because we're trying to open up the glamping camp and the Airbnb before spring and summer to start, we're trying to just bust our butts, trying to get everything done. Uh, I just 
ran inside really quick to get the camera so I could show you what we're working on because we're doing the decks and it's so exciting but it's so much freaking hard work. I want to show you guys what is going into it and um, that way you guys can be like part of the journey, you know? Okay. You might think that, oh, building decks for tents is not that hard but let me tell you, I did not realize how much went into building decks and getting all the wood yourself and having to go get it from Home Depot and then load it in the car and then unload it and then take it from here over to there and then mix the cement and make the cuts with this. And we have to use generators to get everything to work out there because it's far away from the house where there's power. So we had to take this trailer here to go get all the concrete and as you can see lots of concrete and a lot of lumber and wood and I was hoping that I could like find like reclaimed wood but for what we need it for uh, it doesn't really work so anyway we're getting water right now to for the cement we got some helpers my 73 year old dad is helping us build everything I swear he is the best come here bubs you gonna hold mommy's hand the kids love just like running around and roaming the property. There's just so much space for them to run around and have fun. Come on, Storm. He loves to play in the mud. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the decks. Woo, it is cold out here. I bought the kids mittens, like really cute, fun ones that are like really good quality to keep their little hands nice and toasty and warm out here. And guess what? They take them off. I put them on, they take them off right away. I just gave up. I'm like, you know, if their hands are cold, they're gonna come tell me or keep telling them, put them in your pockets. <laughs> anyway, all right, I have a fun game for you guys. So this is what everything is looking like so far. That loud noise is the generator because we need some power to be able to have the cement mixer out here and uh, be able to use some of the power tools. So this is the square of the deck. We're making sure everything's level and then we're gonna put obviously wood on the top, but this is just, this square here is just that tent is gonna go on. And then we're gonna build another deck off the front of the tent to put chairs so that everybody can enjoy this view outside their tent. And I just thought it would be fun to take a little guess on how much just the building materials cost to make a deck like this. So I'll show you, keep an eye on my kids at the same time but I'll show you because this one you can kind of see a little bit more of so take out the labor costs because I am paying my dad and Trav to do all of this but take out the labor costs so just how much it costs to get the materials to build this deck and then there's gonna be another eight feet that come out on the front of this so if you could take a guess on how much just the building materials cost just for the deck was over two thousand dollars per deck so just one deck just the deck alone for one tent cost two thousand dollars just for the deck and then the tent itself cost around three or four thousand so that's like three four five six and that doesn't include like furnishing and a bed and like all the furniture and the comforters and the sheets so each tent just to give you an idea if any of you guys ever wanted to like open your own glamping camp or do a glamping tent in your backyard to Airbnb for extra cash or something um, I mean you definitely can do it a lot cheaper you can put it you don't have to build a deck you can build it right onto the ground but I just think it's a lot nicer more luxury to have it on a deck if you can afford it and obviously you can buy cheaper tents but the tents that we got our tents that um, are like waterproof you can actually be in them during the rain and the snow um, so they don't leak and yeah they're really really good quality tents like I said they're a couple grand so this is just the way I'm doing it because I want to like have it as a business and I want to do a really good job and I want them to last and I want to be able to take them down each year clean them put them back up uh, so anyway I just thought it was like a fun fact to give you guys a little bit of an idea and a cost breakdown to let you know like how much building just one tent tent at our glamping camp costs us personally and then I'll actually do like a whole budget breakdown once the tent is up the deck is done and I have it all furnished and everything I'll put a breakdown of literally how much everything costs just for one tent and then I'll do a cost breakdown of all the tents um, and just to give you an idea oh my god snow it's like screaming at the top of her lungs because she's having so much fun right now how much it will cost for all six tents and then we're also furnishing the whole Airbnb and renovating it all 
at the same time. So I definitely have a lot of money synced into this project, but it's something I'm really passionate about and it's something I've been saving my money and working really hard for a really long time to save my money to do something like this because I think it'll just be so fun. And I don't know, I kind of think the hospitality industry is like really cool to be able to like host people and give them a magical vacation. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. If you guys have any questions or you want to do like a Airbnb glamping camp Q&A, let me know. All right, babe, don't let him do that anymore. What did you, where did it go? Where did it hit you? Are you okay? Oh my god. Did it hit you? Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. All right. Dad's not allowed to do that anymore. No, honey, you just got to go slow. I didn't, I, that's why I was, I... He got excited for the camera. Yeah. He's <laughs> going off. Yeah. We didn't bring double. Uh, Dad, let me go, should I get some ice on that? Yeah, I will. I'll come back. Here, just go sit on the tractor. No, just go get me a, a, get me a, a, a bag. A bag of ice? And then I'll just put some of the snow on it. Oh gosh, getting dangerous out here. Can you help me okay? Yeah, sorry you hurt I'll yourself. Get you. God, I feel bad. Oh my god. You close god. it together? That's really far down. You push it down? You push it down like this? Uh -huh. And you're gonna clamp it. I'm gonna pull up the dirt. My poor dad, I feel so bad he got hurt, honey. Why are you letting him do this oh, heavy man. machinery? Oh, he said he has to go to the hospital. It's really gory. Let me see. Look, look at how big it got. Oh my god, dad. It's a hematomy. Jeez. It just hit hard, that's all. Well, what? That, what? Put that ice on what there. What do you want? It's okay. Man, between your finger, now your leg. We're, we're really motor. beating you up over here. Playing with motorsports. Literally. Do you have insurance? Motor yeah, sports. we do actually. <laughs> Building this camp is getting dangerous, huh? First injury on the job. Our blood, sweat, and tears Any, uh, going into it. I've been looking for deer. I haven't seen any. Oh, there's a bunch out there. Woo! Did you get some dirt with that one? Are you winded? Is that all you got in you for the day? Woo! All right, I'm done. I don't think I could do this. This is too hard. Give me a different job. They're all important jobs. That hole is definitely deep enough. We don't need to go any deeper than that. Let's start on the next hole. The third deck. Second deck. First deck is over there. Coming along. 